If you are a science stream student who has taken physics, chemistry and mathematics for class 11 and class 12, let me tell you why you should choose computer science for class 11 and class 12. So there is a huge demand right now for computer science professionals and you must understand that taking computer science will give you a lot of opportunities in the future because there is actually a ton of different jobs which actually require only computer science professionals. And if you choose computer science in class 11 and 12, the advantage you're getting is that you will be able to get a job very easily, okay? And also, you consider any industry, every industry requires a computer science professional because all these industries have computers, right? So if someone has to do something with a computer, then you must know computer science. And class 11 and class 2 well, will give you the foundation for learning all these different concepts in computer science, which will be able to help you and to work on these computer science technologies in various, you know, departments inside a company, right? And also you will be able to, you know, get a lot of jobs, especially in COVID-19. Right now, there's a huge scope for computer science professionals. Why? Because most of these jobs are having a component of programming, right? So if you know programming and computer science, a part of computer science is programming. So if you know both computer science concepts and programming, then you will be able to get a job easily in COVID-19 because most jobs have been having this condition of work from home. So you can work from home. Only thing is you need a laptop or a computer or a PC with you right now and you will be able to get a job easily. You can apply for a job if you have the skill of programming, right? Programming is you're instructing the computer to do something so that computer will be able to perform various kind of calculations based on the input video given, right? Computer is just a machine. Now they're trying to make the computer as same as human being like they are making the computers to do the operations which a human being can do so in the future you know there is a scope for artificial intelligence so artificial intelligence is replacing you know humans with a computer so that the computer will be able to do whatever the humans can do so you will be able to get a job opportunity and you'll be able to scale up because you for example if you're taking computer science you'll be able to you know, get into a lot of businesses which actually give a lot of money. So you will also get a lot of money if you're chosen computer science because the richest man in the world was Bill Gates one time. And Bill Gates is actually uh, had started an industry which is a computer industry on operating system. Operating system is actually a software which actually helps us to communicate with the computer, with the competence of a computer. So Bill Gates has started this uh, Microsoft company and this company sells operating systems and this operating system is actually this company itself is a computer based company. It's an information technology based company which provides, uh, you know, services, Internet based services like computer services. Right. So it's very important for you to take this opportunity. There are also a ton of opportunities available if you choose computer science. And the right now, the richest person, Jeff Bezos, Amazon. Now, this concept of Internet itself is based on computer science. If you don't have a computer or a device which is actually uh, runs an operating system, you cannot have an internet, right? Internet is based on computers. So if you want to access the internet, then you need a computer or device which has the uh, compatibility of a computer. So this concept of internet itself is an opportunity which Jeff Bezos, the founder and CEO of Amazon.com has taken advantage of and this Amazon company is actually a website and this website is created by whom? This website is created by computer science professionals. So, so if you see the top people who are billionaires and you know richest people, those people who have started their company based on computer science have become the richest people in this world. So you actually, actually Jeff Bezos, the richest man right now, and Mark Zuckerberg, okay? He's also uh, founder of Facebook. Now, founder of Facebook is a social networking site, and you need to have developers who know programming skills to develop this website, right? So, you know, those people who have started these companies, these computer-based companies are now billionaires who are 
the richest people in this world, right? So Bill Gates, for example, uh, and Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, and so on. A lot of people in the top 10 list of the richest people in this world are uh, have started their businesses based on computer science. So there's a plenty of opportunity right now. And the disadvantage is that computer science, if you want to know the concept of computer science, then mathematics is the foundation. So if you don't know the principles of mathematics, you cannot learn the concepts of computer science. So it's very important for you to get yourself updated with the latest technologies in computer science. But in order to know the concept of programming, you need to have a foundation level of mathematics because the concept of computer science came into this world because of mathematics. In the olden times, olden days, olden years, there were no concept of computer science. There was no branch of computer science itself in university. It was electrical engineering, okay? The concept of computer science came into existence because of mathematics, because the mathematical model is a computer, because a computer is able to perform various operations. Why? Because of the mathematics which is behind this. The, there are different algorithms that mean step-by-step -step instructions which we feed into a computer and that's why a computer is able to do a lot of tasks very easily. And you need to know the basic principles of mathematics like linear algebra, probability, statistics, and calculus and a permutation and combination, probability, then only you will be able to understand math, uh, the concepts of computer science. So I request you to take mathematics, right? If you have already taken mathematics, that's good. But if you are really interested and passionate about computer science, you have to take mathematics as well as you must master the concepts of mathematics in order to master the concepts of computer science because the foundation for computer science is mathematics. And if you are having a fear of mathematics, then don't choose computer science because most of the concepts of computer science involves these data structures on algorithms, which are concepts of mathematics. So I request you to take this subject computer science in class 11 and class 12. If you're taking it, then it's good because it's going to be helpful for your future and getting a job and also for solving a variety of different problems by using the programming skills. And apart from programming, there are other computer applications based on whatever interests you, you can go ahead. There are different subfields in computer science like machine learning, deep learning, data science, artificial intelligence, big data analytics, and so on. So you can get into these fields very easily if you know computer science and mathematics. So if you are a PCM student who, who have a student who have taken physics, chemistry, and mathematics, then it's the best opportunity for you to take computer science as well because you'll be able to learn the concepts easily because class 11 and class 12 computer science and CBSE board is very easy for you to learn, especially Python programming. You'll be learning the concept of Python programming. You'll be able to learn the concepts of databases, how data is stored in a computer, and also you'll be able to learn the concepts of you know, the basic ethics and rules which need to be followed by using a computer, right? So there are a ton of opportunities available. The only disadvantage is that you must actually uh, spend a lot of time uh, on a computer. And that's actually a disadvantage because computer as a device is harmful for you because the screen itself is harmful, right? But you must understand that there is a ton of opportunities available right now. You can work from home if you know the concepts of computer science. And also if you have taken the concepts of computer science in class 11 and 12, then it's better compared to most of the other subjects like biology, uh, it can be physical education, because these subjects will help you boost your marks but ultimately they will not be able to help you in the long term in getting a job, right? What's the use if you get good marks in the CBSE board, but you cannot find a job? So that's why it's very important to find out those subjects which will be helpful for your job. And this computer science will definitely help you for your job. So I request you to take computer science confidently. And also it's very easy once you, because the main skill which you need to have for learning the kinds of computer science is mathematics and a good uh, knowledge of programming, right? Uh, data structures and algorithms, that's a concept. And that is also mathematics. And you must have only common sense because computer science is common sense. And you can learn the concepts very easily by common sense. And also, it's all dealing with logic. It's basic, simple math, right? It's, it's, it's logical thinking skills, which will help you to solve a given problem very easily. And because of this, 
There are also plenty of opportunities available right now for computer science professionals. If you study computer science, this will give you a foundation for learning the advanced concepts which are taught in college. So when you go to the first year of college, whatever you have learned in class 11 and 12, those concepts are going to be taught again. So you'll be able to get an edge over those people who have all, uh, not taken computer science. So this is a great opportunity for you to learn the concepts, master the concepts of computer science and make money a lot of money at the same time you'll be able to solve a real world problem faced by people by learning the concept of computer science and also advancing your knowledge in the area of computer science